lesson is all about the internet. The internet is a very busy place and similar to this busy road. Messages, like cars, are zooming along to get to their destination. Messages move through the internet very quickly. Acting out how the internet works will help you understand what's happening when you use the internet. You'll learn how messages get from your computer to a favorite website or from a friend to an email inbox. Just like it's easier to navigate busy roads when you know the roads and can read the signs, traveling the internet is not so complicated when you know what goes on behind the scenes. Sending messages on the internet is a little bit like sending messages in the mail, but with a few differences. I'm here at google.com. The IP address for this website is this number. You can think of an IP address as your return address in the mail. So let's imagine that I want to send a message in the mail to someone in the office down there. Do you see the URL and the IP address on that door? Hello. I've written this message and hit send. Unlike the postal service, the first thing that happens is that the internet breaks the message into smaller parts so it can be sent more easily, and these small parts are called packets. Each packet of the message is delivered to the destination one at a time. These packets are all put together in the right order so that the receiver can read the message correctly. Of course, there are many more things to learn about how the internet works, but this is a great start. So you're on your way to becoming a savvy internet user. Be sure to tell your family and friends what you've learned. My name is Amanda Camp and I'm a software engineer at Google. I work on a team that works on a back-end server that stores profiles and contacts. In my job, we think a lot about how contacts can be sent to other devices, such as your phone. And most people have a lot of contacts. You might have, say, a thousand contacts. And we don't want to send all of those contacts at once to your phone because it's too large of a message. So similar to the way the internet breaks large messages down into packets, we use a concept called paging, where we might only send your phone 100 contacts at a time and let your phone actually respond to us and ask for the next 100. I think the most exciting thing about software is the fact that it can impact the entire world. I first learned to program when I was about 19. I think I was already a sophomore or a junior in college. The first program I remember writing is something that converted uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. I like programming because I like helping people. I can write programs at Google that help people all over the world and that's really mind-boggling and exciting.